All right, are we ready to go? Yeah. All right, I'll do a YouTube intro. All right, YouTube, John Moore here from Zodiac Duels TV and House of Champs with the Joe Shoemaker commentating this duel. We have Eric Christensen, YCS Dolls Champ, against the King of Meme, Nat here. Any pre notes before we tell him to fight? Well, once again, all of our feature matches right now, elimination matches for this. Yep, you all can start. Yeah. You know I don't even like this game. Oh man, Nadir. Yeah, it's Nadir. Oh, it's Nadir. Ah, uh, all right, all right. So he's stream sniping, confirmed. No, can we just pronounce his name not higher now because he wants to complain about it? <laughs> we can just call him Alu Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> the entire match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you all can go. So you think any of them are bringing some fire attacks like we saw in the last game? I think game? they both are. Like uh, the snake deity card? I know, I know... And uh, he has a problem with it. Eric likes to show off sometimes. So he's he's brought... He, he went ahead and put himself in the loser's bracket uh, first round. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, somebody's got to clean up the loser's bracket, right? Hey, what up, Jules? Good to see you join us. Yeah, I, I went ahead and put myself in there. Oh, man, look at that. Double Lumina. <laughs> Legalize nice crystal weed. Oh, oh no! You're bringing back a level three with this fire. Uh, well, I guess that's that's some synchro options. But you could be trying to get really lucky and Minerva mill something really hot. Yeah, here we go. Wolf, wolf. Ah, uh, there's one thing. I mean, Bull, I guess he could technically make Arc Light. Yeah. <laughs> like, I doubt he plays it, but... It hey, works. what up, Anti-Gravity? It seems like we have a lot of the House of Champs people joining us today. Oof, Magi Specters. Wow. So he already this the setup wasn't that strong from uh Eric and now we have Magi Spect oh man, yeah, this this He's is playing not... the bird deck, I bet. Getting an extra card with Magi Specters is actually pretty strong. Even though you like kinda wanna go first so you don't get like the impossible setup. Like this setup's really easy to break from him. Yeah, with yeah, actually, well, with this deck, uh, with the it, it's you want to go first, but it doesn't necessarily. Oh, lose that negates light second. monsters. It does. Wow, <laughs> and he like hard drew it. That's 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 pretty good. Oh, he what did he mill with Lumina? He milled a. Uh, did he mill with Lumina? It was a spell. Oh no, it was the fact was negated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. negated by uh, uh, Norden. 26 viewers with us. Shoutouts. This is a lot of people for such short notice. Zianki. Oof. Read your cards. He's Low key light imprisoning game. mirror. Don't tell anybody. Yep, there it is. Oh, so that's the fire tech I guess we see this round is something that's much better next format. Zianki. Well, without a doubt, uh, he was going to win the next turn because he had the ability to normal summon the raccoon then pendulum summon two more cards so uh, and if he would have bounced it back it would have just been so free yeah eric's saying he opened double wolf i know those feels man that's oh that's the dream right that's what you always want to do because you always draw your solar recharges with them so yeah yeah the main goal is to like get solars or get uh now goblinberg is kind of good with the wolves uh goblinberg is like so much better with if rota would have stayed at three 
but it didn't. Yeah, so this deck would be this deck would be almost turbo ish if we had those rotors. Just search, search, summon, 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 go yeah. off free, draw, draw with Minerva, like yeah, try to get more. Three off start, three rota, three solar recharge, three charge. Like it, it breaking would have been hard. Yeah, you could you could just like no fear play triple wolf, triple uh, Fe Felis, like. Well, I, I wouldn't say no fear, because like those hands happen. I'd be scared drawing cards I can't summon. That's why I would never play Ghost Tricks. So he just got extra negation. I still have that Zionke up, but now we'll see if... I'm guessing Zing's going to opt to go, since he sees Magic Specter Magicians. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce that Magician's uh, name, so I'm going to just call him Planet X. <laughs> oh, he's opting to go first, and there goes Illumina, not the ideal pitch. It's probably because he doesn't want to lose to Avion Unicorn. Or, yeah. uh, in this case, Planet X. Uh, there goes a Hat Tricker. The hat Tricker kind of sucks, but... Raiden's not bad to get in your graveyard. Yeah. Well, he plays Lumina, so that makes it not as bad. Yeah. Most of the White Thorn decks or the Minerva decks don't really play Lumina. Oh, here's Nap Beast. Free Nap Beast. And, uh... Well, it's also not bad to get in your graveyard because of instant fusion and being able to get a tuner back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just it's so so many good things by having that in the graveyard. Oh, wow. So he's going to give him... Maybe he has Ghost Ogre. Oh. Yeah. That's why he said him to the Goblinberg. Like, yeah. He probably shouldn't have summoned that glow up so fast. You have the guy. <laughs> I, I maybe he should have like not summoned Globe so fast. Gain yeah, gain the thousand. Cause I think if he held onto the Globe, maybe the Ghost Ogre would have hit that Goblinberg. I don't know, cause Nad here was pausing, but then he it was out so fast. Nadir, my bad. The H is silent. He he probably knew that regardless that yeah, him hitting the ghost ogre. if he had ghost ogre if he was going to ghost ogre that uh he would have known it would have been a really risky play uh so you could potentially just be losing it but then like this is the optimal scenario that would have been for ghost ogre yeah okay so uh, you're still gonna negate this like you're gonna get to negate no oh. at the end yeah uh maturity beast has to stay face up to negate oh okay the wolf was... At least he gets a wall here. Wait, is, is Naturia Beast a cost? It's a cost to mill, and it says it has to stay face up. Yeah, but if it's a cost, can wolf get special summoned by it being milled off Nat Beast? Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can? Yeah, it seems like they don't know that Pendulum Call goes through, so... Yeah, if this card is sent to the deck to your graveyard, it doesn't matter by monster effect. Uh, I did not know that Nat Beast needed to stay up. Uh, yeah, I learned this uh, the hard way in playtesting. Yeah, it says it on the card. Yeah, we were playing a lot of uh, mirror matches and sighting in Ghost Ogre. It was the out to Nat Beast, so you could just you'd be free with it. Yep. Oof. You, yeah. Let's... Hopefully they read the watcher's check right quick. Yeah, the, yep. I, so there we go. Reading Sweet cards sweet. is good, duelist. Read your cards through and through. <laughs> <laughs> that card sucks. <laughs> yep. So there's his light negation back to his hand, which will shut down most strategies. He's going to get a free pendulum. Oh, Oaf Dragon on top of it. Oh, Maxi. All right, so at least that's... Then he, could, he could draw into a clown. Maybe he won't just lose this turn. Yeah, yeah, it definitely deters uh, Glasgow because we haven't seen uh, a clown. Oh, wow. And we have the pop. 
Yeah, that that's not really an odd play because he was gonna give him the one anyway. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like that was the optimal play. Yeah, that was decent. Yeah. Oh, oh that was his climb. only play. There's a climb. Can it negate? It does. Uh, yeah, it's on the field. Yeah, it's on field. Ooh, so how do we break the setup with four cards and one of them being a hat tricker? The set card is really spooky. Oh, he had that, so. Three spooky, five me. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I definitely think that's the best play because uh, that magician is going to ruin this entire game for him. Yeah, but do you think uh, maybe... Uh, I don't know his hand, but we'll see what his hand is before I talk. But uh, King of the Ferals, uh, to go ahead and pitch the clown, and I don't know if he plays King of the Feral in Jigabyte, I guess. That's a good question. Oh, yeah, 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 if, yeah he, if he, he did does. that, just for... Uh, oh, this like, is all yeah. White Sworn. I'm, I'm derping. There's none of that. Oh, but there is an instant fusion. So he said, "I wish I had soul charge, but he had instant fusion, which works pretty much the same here." <clears throat> Minerva, please. Help me in this duel. Well, there's one. <laughs> and there's there's something for another turn if we can be living. No, I don't think this is going to be a swift 2-0. He set himself up pretty well back here. And uh, what's in the uh, extra deck for Glasgow? Is it just the uh, I, It's Archfiend? just the Archfiend Eccentric, I believe. Yeah, so definitely not the worst. Ooh! <laughs> wow. Oh, well, we're not going into anything beforehand. It's interesting to just see him start swinging there. Well, no punishment. Yeah, because uh, I will... <laughs> In five years' time, I hope to be running my own prostitution ring. Not ear. Not ear. My bad. Ear. Second nap. Oh, my oh. God. That mill was so good. He's not going to take damage either because of Hat Tricker. Never mind. He's going to take the damage. Wait. Why did he take damage? Because Well, because that's a, it's an optional effect. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. The, add the token. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yo, he trished him though. We got uh, that's the first trish I've seen played in all format. Hey. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, Zephyros made it possible getting him there. So we do see the game three. We see the light sworn milling, old school tactics. Getting there with the mills. One of the saltiest feelings ever if you're on the receiving end. But he has to play all those cards that come to his hand and utilize them in a way such that if he draws them, he can utilize them. So that's the double-edged sword. And like we said, if Rhoda was at three, this deck would just be, oh, so, oh, there's an Avion. Turkey Day coming up. Just the one Avion. Yeah, so that's not that strong, just one Avion. Well, the thing is, uh, the thing that makes it, it strong just overall is that it puts itself back in the hand to be pendulum settlement and again so if he can maintain the scales or has the other scales in his hand it makes it a lot better minerva is very good against turkey though yeah, yeah prize cards must be nice but this man actually has one an ultra only plays one because he only has one. Oh, do you think he sticks to that in this deck online i don't think no. so I'm curious what ruling he's lo he's looking up on Avion. Garudix oh, okay, okay, timing. good. Garudix will miss timing. That's good to know. Very relevant to this metagame. Now look at me. I'm taking shit in the man of 
<laughs> that, that was a snapchat from wally i had to see yo so a kaiju would be very strong well yeah i doubt he a said... singular kaiju that would have been adorable yeah well i side i side the turtles because it's special than attack mode to get over things like this and since it's turkey and unicorn uh you've already seen the unicorn you had to assume turkey was still around Is it just the one? Playing the safe? Yep, playing it safe. Oh, there's the. Uh, no, no, he wanted to attack directly only. Yeah. So, uh, the reason I say uh, that uh, the kaijus are good is because you've already seen Unicorn and you had to assume Turkey was still here, and uh, you just get. Oh, ooh, that's probably going to be stopped. That that's such an iffy card to stop. Uh, like solar recharge is so good, but at the same time, uh, it yeah. doesn't do anything that will make you lose. Yeah, uh, we might see black. Oh, there's ghost ogre. That was strong. Lumina will not. I don't think resolve. Will I believe Lumina. I I believe Lumina does resolve. Yeah, Lumina does. Resolve. Oh, see, he sided the kaiju's. There was the turtle kaiju. The, 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 my thing with uh, with them in general is uh, is like I know that the OCG what they cited like Lava Golem and like even Santa Claus, but uh, they're unsearchable and uh, I hate that. So it's looking like he was hoping for the mill power. He did not get there. Oh man, that is painful. There's a juggler too late. We're gonna see Turkey touch back down for free. Like he said, the Mills got him there last time, but it was one card short this time. Yeah. At least he doesn't outright lose right now. Well, but he did use the bulb. Three cards, four cards total if you count the juggler to one Avion. It's the same position as last turn, and he's lost, uh... It's just recycling the same situation right now. Well, because even, like, an instant fusion would be huge for him. Yeah. I mean, your hand is garbage, and this might be your only play. I would agree with that line of thought, I would think. I'll allow it. So he wants to see some Yu-Gi-Oh's. I mean, there's nothing that can really beat over the Avion from the extra, but Minerva is still dangerous. Minerva is very good against him. He's going to mill, then if he negates and destroys that, he gets to use Minerva's second effect. Yeah. Like, it's... Allowing him to make a Minerva seems very dangerous. Yeah, there's the special. There's oh, the second yeah, effect. His, his hand is garbage. <laughs> Well, do you think we see Minerva here? I think that's the I only. I one hundred percent think you have to see e Minerva here. One said second. what? Maxi. What they aren't effects. A yeah, they don't activate. Thing. It's just a. Hand traps are a thing. Not in this world. Flying C. You're the best. Then. I mean, yeah, Flying C is a possibility. Nah, go on. <laughs> flying C would just be fire, actually. Does it mill as cost? Uh, I do not know. No, it actually. does not. You have to stop it, but at the same time, you kind of have to let it go. I, I... Yeah, he's going to mill three either way here. It's going to be destruction versus draw. And you have to stop it, yeah, because you have to get your card back into your yeah. hand, because he can crash. Well, if he crashes, then he can negate the graveyard effect. No. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. He could have just done that, actually. Yeah, I think that was the better thing, would be to let him crash. Then again, he hadn't used his normal, and we haven't... I don't think we've seen uh, any... There's nothing, though. There's nothing from the destruction effect. Wow, that's I, that mill was actually unreal. Yeah, that's... When you rely on milling decks, sometimes it's just not in your favor. Yeah, his deck actually plays no lights one monsters. Yeah, because I don't, I haven't seen 
I think we saw one wolf this game, and that was it. And he, I assume he plays like two fullies, three wolf, yeah, or something Net- similar to that. Nettier said exactly what I was saying. Uh, you know, when you rely on milling and X amount of rounds, uh, it just happens to molly whop you back sometimes. Yeah. As uh, as many of you players like to call luck variants now, you're playing a deck that relies on variants. So Turkey touches on back down again, and maybe we'll just see Skull Crobat or something even further. Even like uh, Wavering Eyes here, uh, assuming he didn't, uh, if he did not side them out, uh, it, it's just game over. Thinks Arena. Well, we know one of your cards is an apparent hand trap, according to you. Or are you just saying that the spooky's opponent? Three spooky, five me. Net ear going in. Thinking of the fanciest ways to game. That's game. 